Come on, I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. <sighs> All right, I'll try another time. Anywho, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back for more Sonic-related content. So, yesterday for Fourth of July, Netflix dropped the first episode of season two for Sonic Prime, which you are able to watch if you go to YouTube. I'll even leave a link for you to watch, so you can also see the episode for yourself. And then for this video, I do want to talk about it though so without further ado let's get started so for the start you pretty much get a reek I, I, I kind of want to say recap or I'm not really sure but you pretty much just get like a point of view of what shadow was doing throughout season one while Sonic was uh, going through each of the different dimensions so pretty much shadow shadow was in the Shatter Space, he was stuck in between the areas, and he was able to see Sonic through each of his adventures. So, they do actually show you that he actually did try to actually go through one of the dimensions. This is how it looks. So, pretty much, he would just, like, push the portal. Or, hold on, let me show the portal, at least. So, this is one of the portals. So, the, the, the portals would look like this. They're pretty much like prisms. They would just have like a bunch of hexagons just surround this one singular portal. And there was like five, I think. So yeah, there was five of them. So one was for the one with the New York City. The other was the jungle one. The other was the pirate one. And then the last one is the prime one, which is what you see right here, which is like the original one where they visit later on. So pretty much each time Shadow touched like one of the portals he was able to see sonic running as well as like somewhat try to talk to him so each time we saw sonic when he was running in each of the episodes that's what was going on with shadow he was trying to like reach uh sonic in order to talk to him and tell him what he was doing back to uh the original time they he immediately just wants to start beating him up he's just like home is gone because of you also, I'm not getting, I know these like sounded angry a lot throughout the episode, but I, I will be talking about that later, but it definitely sounds justified as it goes on. It definitely sounds justified. Now, this was a bit annoying, but I can understand why Sonic was like this, but pretty much when he was like stuck in that area, he was still thinking, oh, this is another version of Shadow. This is like another variant. <laughs> And he was like, oh, this is Grumpy Shadow, this is Grumpy Shadow. And I was like, yeah, okay. You you really couldn't tell it was that Shadow, but based on how he looked in the design. I, I, I mean, I know, I understand, like, this Sonic is, like, having, like, some issues understanding who's who and whatnot. But he starts, like, putting, to, putting two and two together and afterwards realizes it was Shadow. And then you just get this nice hug. Yes, just look at him. Look at them right there. They're so happy to be together. Not after Shadow starts explaining each of the dimensions, he takes them back to like the original dimension that they were from, and then you just see Green Hill is just pretty much just like lost all the color it had. Also, look at this frame of it, Shadow right here. <laughs> look at him. I love how expressive he is in a lot of the, the, the shots throughout the episode. They definitely do show that Shadow is like a lot more expressive expressions um as like he's being showcased throughout the episode but yeah so sonic C thinks that everything's okay like everything is all right everything's the way it should be but then he discovers his friends are not what they see he sees he sees that these are like oh, dang it's really hard to describe it's like it's i i honestly want to say it's like how they were in like frontiers where they were like part of them was in cyberspace and then another part of them wasn't it's kind of like that if they lost like uh if their whole personalities were like split into each of the dimensions that's kind of what it is like so shadow takes them back to the original area on where the prism was and then you just see that the prism shows like the first crystal which is it, this is pretty much their dimension is what they're saying so yeah the yellow crystal means this is their dimension which is why it's still there and then you see the other three crystals are still mi missing so that th those are the ones that are needed to like complete the whole dimension again so afterwards sonic wants to talk to like one of the other people nine from new yoke in order to like fix it but this this is where this 
this moment right here, like when when they get to this scene, honestly made me like this shadow so much more because of how he how he was acting. So pretty much he realizes he can't really trust Sonic after he breaks the dimension. So this this is why this is pretty much the shadow I really wanted to see again after we've just been having this like arrogant like jerk shadow in a way from like boom and i think it was riders i wanted like a good balance of like his seriousness with his uh with his arrogance i feel like that's not fully balanced enough because it was balanced when he was in adventure 2 because you see you see that a lot when he was like intimidating sonic when the first time they met uh, to just like straight up destroying him and then he's, he's serious about when he wants revenge It's moments like that that really made me sh like shadow a lot from when I was growing up playing adventure 2 that With this fight this I, I really liked the fight because it was a fight for Sonic's tech that shadow thought Was allowing him to travel through the dimension so pretty much it was a fight for whoever can control that tech and He needed all four pieces of the, his tech so there was two on his arms, or on his hands, and then he had the two on his shoes. So, they were just fighting back and forth, trying to get control of each piece. So, on the first shot, so, right when they start to get outside, you get this sick shot where it's like, he holds one in his hand, in his mouth from after he's like, pushed from Sonic, and he's like, and then boom, opens it up, like, boom, I got the first one, what you doing now? After they reach the beach, you see him get two, which is even more sick. He's also he starts to do the he starts to do the O6 pose, which is even better. And and he just needs one more to uh, complete the set. Another another sick shot from right here from when they're fighting after after he completes the set. Or so I thought uh, at the right there. I honestly thought that's what I was gonna end, but then you just see Sonic. He also got his his pieces back for his feet. But uh, yeah, they continue. They keep the fight going. It's. It, I really wish I could show it because it's like one of the best fights I've honestly seen between Sonic vs. Shadow. It's definitely such a great one because we haven't seen one in so long. It really has like a lot to show for this fight. You, you get this shot as well of them of Shadow using Sonic as a surfboard. <laughs> also, a kind of a reference to uh to Final Fa Fantasy Sonic. X, I think, I think that he got this, another piece, flips it like a coin, and then adds it to another piece of his, uh, of his leg. So, after that, he, Sonic thinks he has one left, but then, boom, this shot right here, this, this shot right here of Shadow, this is when you realize that he, this is, this is it, our character is back, he has come back, and this is how he is now. <laughs> because you see how like how, how he knows that he l already lost also you get this shot right here <laughs> this shot oh my gosh so after he loses the fight you see sonic just try try to at least cross over the dimension the same way he did before just by running really fast and of course he says the align gotta go fast just so we can all <laughs> just for the uh reference as well and he does manage to travel through you do we do see him manage to get through and still continue to fight shadow for a bit before we see like the eggman council or the egg council travel through the dimensions so we see him here and they travel to what was the jungle dimension and shadow tries to follow him and this was my one issue with the episode or i'm guessing i'm hoping this doesn't happen for like the whole rest of the season but if it does then that will be my only problem with the show and that is that shadow still can travel through the other dimensions for whatever reason because I, i'm guessing um because of like whatever sonic's link is to the crystal that is what is allowing him to travel through the dimensions hence why shadow can't travel through the dimension himself because I the, the, the reason why the a council is able to is because they have their own crystal which is why they're able to travel through but shadow sadly isn't and he has to be saved by Sonic so which is very bad for him he's already embarrassed by it so because of it 
we have to like we're we're pretty much forced or okay i wouldn't say forced but pretty much sonic has to carry on and do uh find the rest of the crystals without shadow but yeah I, honestly ian and Allen killed it as shadow he got his character perfectly in this adaptation i really think this is going to be what a lot of people's favorite version of shadow after this this definitely will get people into liking Shadow a lot more after like all the previous uh, media he's been in. This is definitely going to fix his character a lot. Ian and Allen loved his performance in this. Performance was top notch with his character. I, I think this will definitely be a lot of people's favorite version of Shadow after this. I'm just hoping that they show more of him as this as the episodes go on at the very least but I th i'd say maybe we can get maybe I, I depending on how they'll end it i'd say we'll get one or two more ap episodes of shadow doing stuff um in this in this step in the episodes that's what i'm guessing so uh i guess that's pretty much where i'll end it so like the episodes drop next week be sure to tune in for that and to make sure to like and subscribe for more Sonic and other related content that I do on this channel. Hope you all have a good day and I shall see y'all soon for my streams. Thank y'all for watching.